All right, welcome everyone to another episode of Le Plata. So guys, we are back here in another episode where we are going to do some stuff and going to do some stuff very quickly because I want to do some stuff. Now that my army is back in style and we're starting to build up more and more, I want to get my army... Wait. Oh, I knew it. Okay, well anyways, when this unit gets back here, I want to do a lot of stuff and the first things... Eh, first things I want to do, guys, I want to go invade Brazil. Why? Because you can that's the reason why. If there's ever a reason why to declare war on Brazil, it's actually, to be honest, I'm actually declaring war on Brazil because I kind of want the Amazon, the Amazon, uh, river, the entire Amazon river. I want it to be completely owned by me. I don't want to share it halfway with those Brazilians. Not the Brazilians in our country because we love Brazilians in our country, but the Brazilians. Oi. And then from over here, um, I found out a sad fact is that I could actually convert this right now if I had enough colonial points. So, what does that mean? It means basically I'm going to have to find, um, naval bases I did not quite upgrade. Because if we could get, like, a couple more colonies in the world before, like, the game ends, that would be pretty awesome. You know, that would be, like, making a day right there. Like, seriously. Yeah, well, there we go. See? You just have to hope and believe hard enough and everything comes to pass. Oh my goodness, let's see, let's see, let's get right over here. Oh yeah, these are mostly just upgrading me to like level 6, 7 forts. Oh, good times, good times. Yeah, let's get this, let's get this. I'm going to mostly upgrade my fortifications over here because I feel like once China unites, because as we know, these two guys are at war with each other, there's going to be a major click. And, oh, before I mention it, if you guys haven't realized it yet, we are back in time about a month. And it isn't because something weird happened or any kind of like bug or issue like that. It basically came down to the fact that when I, I just did like one day recording session and when I exit out, well, I kind of forgot to uh, save it. So, yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We didn't really do that much to, uh, you know, incite the wrath of you guys yet. So I, I don't think there's really a problem here. I mean, there's, we didn't really do that much. So, yeah. I, I, I don't see too much of a problem, so anyways, yeah, as we continue on though, we're going to be building up more and more stuff because I want to make sure that if we're going to build tanks and airplanes, we're going to have tanks and airplanes. So wherever we can in the world, we are going to build tanks and airplanes. Even in places that absolutely, absolutely make no sense to build tanks and airplanes, okay? This is how dedicated I am to build this tanks and airplanes, like right here. We need to build a tank shop, let... Nepal stop building it and everything now over here like I said there's gonna be this big gigantic fight between these two Chinas most likely the China that we were going for Gon Gonzong Klink or Jingong Klink will most likely get defeated by Uli Klink now I do not know if I'm pronouncing any of these names right because honestly these are very hard names to pronounce but I'm hoping I do because I know how to pronounce Beijing <laughs> okay and with that beginning intro, really, really fast little explanation of everything, let's begin! Woohoo! Okay, now let's see, are we actually building our tanks? No. Well, we are building our airplanes. Hey, okay, let's see. We're going to... Because I know this is going to be a heavily issue, let's see. Um, We want a minimum of about... This is going to sound stupid, but we want a minimum... Of about 80 tanks. You get me 80 tanks a day. This is gonna get my economy ruined, but I don't care. I need 80 tanks a day. No, don't automate that. You're gonna buy me my tanks. Okay? You're gonna buy me my tanks. Confirm trade. Confirm trade. I want those tanks. I want those tanks in our, in our custody right now so that we don't have 1.8 tanks. This is why we are falling behind so badly in our economy. Is because we usually have to buy stupid things and it usually doesn't work well for us. Okay, we're going to keep about a stock minimum stockpile of about 30 of these things. Automate details by minimum. This is how much I usually want. Let's see, let's do this. Available for our country. Wow. Only 5.89. Hmm. That's really bad. Let's see, how many tanks are ready for me? Wow, we have absolutely no tanks in the market. Well, as soon as that country that builds tanks, builds tanks, I'm going to have a major market for them. Okay? 
Oh my goodness. And we're also going to look at all these guys over here because I want to make sure that we keep building up more and more of our vassals. Specifically, I want them to build more tanks. <laughs> if this is just a cheap ploy by me to get more tanks in, my, in these countries, well, so be it. We're going to build more tanks. Build more tanks, build more airplanes. Tanks and airplanes. That's your only goal, vassals, is to build me tanks and airplanes. Because if I'm going to try to do this, I'm going to create an economy of tanks and airplanes. Which you guys will either love or hate, depending on how you guys receive it. But I'm basically going to oversaturate the market until, basically, whenever I want to get tanks and airplanes, I can get tanks and airplanes. Okay? Okay. Now, let's see. This will actually be a good place to build an uh, electric factory. Then we build a tank factory. Then we build a airplane factory. There we go. Now, you guys can basically decide whatever you do with these factories. I don't really care. But I'm also going to decrease taxes of our people to about 45 about everywhere because you guys are awesome and you guys are actually doing really nice things for the world we can actually go down to 40 i think i think yes 40 percent taxes i haven't been at that level for a very long time so 40 percent taxes is probably what i'm going to end on in the in my years which is going to be awesome because 40 percent taxes is awesome apparently i have some people that aren't working i don't like that you better be working in my country I don't like when you guys don't work. Okay, you guys are going to build a steel factory. Okay, never mind, never mind. Never mind, you guys are cool. You guys are cool. We, we don't need to talk. We don't need to talk. I'll upgrade some of these, though, because these are really good factories right now building. Let's get all these built. And, yeah. Okay. Ah. And let us see. We have a moralistic argument going on right now. I think we're curving towards more moralism. I'm not... Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. It honestly really depends on what happens, but it's really quite, it's really, really quite a toss-up. See, why do we have, see, we have these, but we don't have those, which doesn't make any sense to me. Do we not have enough, like, things producing? Populate, wait, our pop, wait, what? A population produces 0 0.56 of a tank? You know, that kind of scares me just a little bit. <laughs> the fact that my own population is building somewhat of a tank is not exactly a uh, comforting matter for me as a po as a politician over here. That sounds like something that would kill me in the later years of my life. Let's see, let's remove focus here and let's go see how we're going to convert these guys. Because these guys right here are already ready to become a colonial province. It's just that we just don't have enough. So what I'm hoping is that through my uh, building of my new naval facilities, I'll be able to do it. Republic of Le of Republic of Britannia, the communist one, because the communists really do not like me. <laughs> and let's see, could I get anything good without dying? Probably not, because they basically surround me. Uh, but, yeah, let's just get 5% Jinduist. I love 5% Jinduist. And let's see, our population still growing at astounding rates. And as I ex expected, Gonzon's starting to die, but, nah, they're... Gonzon's gonna be wiped out very, very soon. It's not even gonna be a issue. Okay, and we just got our colonial attack. And now, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until, like, let's see. When's the last day I can declare war? The 27th. I'm gonna wait until France is either occupied with something else before I declare war so I can get even more of this. Yes! Democracy must survive! Yeah! Also, um... Let's see, what else do I want to add to you? Damn, dang it, I can't actually add what else I want to add. But that's fine with me. We'll just have to continue the way we are. And let's see, Pozania. When did I start influencing Pozania? Oh, uh, no, that's Pomerania. There's Plazan. Sure, Plazan, yay! Let's become buddies with Pl Plazan. And apparently, Romania is having issues. I would not doubt it, considering that they just lost all their army due to stupid reasons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but rats. This economy right now in terms of buy of trying to buy like airplanes and trying to buy like you know anything really, really is not good. I mean, absolutely no one produces these things yet, and I have absolutely nowhere to produce them. And this is why I really wish there was a button I could just like switch economies for a second and go create them. This is why I usually get mad about, you know, produce, production factories or anything like that is because this is the reason. Is because usually my capitalists don't build anything or anything I'd really want them to build. And if there's ever a problem with laissez-faire, there's a problem right there. The fact that you can't actually build what you want to. 
Prime Minister elected. He is terrible. Wow. Can we, is it an administ remove administrator button? I mean, since it's at the almost end of the game, I kind of want to see what would happen if I did that. Let me see. Dang it, there isn't a remove administrator? What? Aww. I would love to do that right about now. That'd be a really good one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, seems like I can't remove a minister right now, so I kind of feel sad for that. Kind of makes you feel sad. I can't do it, but let's see. Will, will Romania survive? Yeah, they have a slightly bigger army than the rebels, so I don't think they're gonna die. And let's see, France. I'm waiting for you to do something stupid. A quiet, you have a quiet call against the British. Oh, and America's gonna drag me into some war. Let's see. What war are you guys going into? Uh, the American war to dismantle the British Empire. What? Huh? Uh, 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 what? Okay, I, 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 wow, um, okay, I, why? <laughs> oh, shoot, so America, if you guys don't read between the lines, America just, just decided to declare war on the British Empire, former British Empire, now the Republic of Britannia, and is basically saying we're gonna go kick the butt out of you. Wow. Um. See, I don't know how well I would be of help to these guys because basically I. I mean, I wouldn't mind sticking it to the British. I wouldn't mind it, but I, I'm literally not prepared for it. <laughs> My army is literally spread out everywhere, and I'd have death stacks abode. Plus, um, how is America going to fight this? No. That isn't a smart war for me. I'm sorry, America, but you guys... We're going to form an alliance anyways. You guys love me too much to, like, cancel our alliances. Yeah. But that's not a smart war for me. Seriously. Fighting America... Well, fighting the Great British when we literally don't have like the resources to do it. I mean we're just about as spread out as the British are and if we fight them right now we're going to have difficulties. Let's 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 leave it at difficulties. So yeah. Anyways let's continue down some technological trees. We don't need impressionism because that's just basically nothing. We can get some of this. Because a private banketeering thing will be really nice. Government uh subsidies and let's see let's combine you guys. There we go. And let's see, do we have any of our tanks? No, it's because we're not. It's because no one else is buying these. Ugh. Man, that's making me so mad. Okay, and apparently we are having a major market crash just because, probably because of wars going on, and we sell a lot of our goods to all these people. Okay, what do you need, Sweden? I didn't even know we were allied with Sweden. What the heck? I feel like this game is just giving me random allies out of nowhere. Okay. France is at war with Egypt. Okay, okay, okay. This is our good time to strike France. Okay, and Egypt, you are... Scandinavia, you are at war with Denmark. Okay, I can join that war. That seems like a war I could easily win. Okay. Now, the war with uh, French, British... Oh, rats. If I had known this, I probably would have chosen to dismantle the British Empire. Oh, man, that's that kind of stinks right there. But... On the good side, that means I can just go in and see that America, my ally, is... Wait, they're my ally. Does that mean they would join in? Hmm. They're at war with Great Britain right now. I don't think they would want to risk attacking me. So, let's try this. We're going to try this. We're going to try this. This is going to be... This is either going to be the greatest mistake we ever made or the or the greatest conquest we ever made. So we're going to conquer Parna, which is going to be this region right here, which means then we basically make... Brazil look like a little tiny nation. Okay, let's try it. Let's see. Everyone's going. Even the United States is going to join in. Hey, United States, you want to join into my uh, war? I, I totally think you should should. Okay, let's see. Hey, Ecuador, don't you dare be your brothers, and you better join in. Okay, we're all in this together. Okay, we are all in this mother, this destroying of the Brazilian army together. And the United States joined in, so. Treacherous, treacherous, people treacherous. Yeah, I don't really care about that. So, yeah. 
Leave it up to us to just completely eradicate the, the Brazilians and slaughter. Ooh, that's gonna be a slaughter right there. Yeah. Also, is Denmark gonna take that long of you guys to defeat? Nah, you guys are gonna defeat him in a couple days. Good. Good, Scandinavia. Alright, I'm gonna go back over here just to defeat the rest of the Brazilians. I have like six different armies gonna go attack the Brazilians. Apparently, lag is becoming an issue, so I'm gonna have to slow down just a little bit. Mechanized mining. Let's see. Hey, guys, get your butts in the gear and go send your armies to go invade Brazil. That's why I have you guys, is because you guys are my little meat shield. You guys help me out. Rich income, get mad at me. I don't really care about the rich that much. They usually never help me out in the game. So, yeah. And what are we talking about? Okay. We're going to destroy this army right here. Yeah. Bye bye, Brazil. Oh, wow. That's not even. It's 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 a slaughter. There's not much Brazil can really do. Portugal, we can become buddies. We can become buddies. We go down here, and let's see. Yeah, the Brazilian War is basically over, and we haven't even really begun. I'm just gonna let my little buddies go in and go kick the butt out of all these guys. And let's see. Let's see, America, in your war against Canada, you are rightfully and. Quite honestly, destroying Canada, there is absolutely nothing the Canadians can do to stop you. Uh, Mexico, I think, is also joined in the war, which makes this even more funny because if I joined in, that basically means all of America is against the United Kingdom. But as I said, I didn't quite actually, to be honest with you, I could declare war and go take a little province. Hmm. You know, if I was to occupy like the Wari states, this is already, to me, this is already a state, so I would gain a. This is getting the rest of the Benin for me. Hmm. You know, I, if I just conquer... I'm just thinking of this, guys. If I just conquer Benin, just take the rest of Benin from them, they'd have their own port, so I'd get two ports, and I'd be able to, like, instantly convert this to a colony because it already has 50% of its people on my culture. Hmm. It'd be a very interesting thing to do. And since the British are basically occupied with both the French and the Americans, I don't think they're going to be able to declare war on me anytime soon. So, yeah. Let's do this. Acquire core. Oh, the Falklands. Rats. Okay. Um, didn't mean, didn't mean to see that happen, so let's do that. Let's see if we can get some land from this war, too. I mean, we are definitely expansionist, and this is definitely a golden opportunity to stick it to the British. I mean, why not stick it to the British? Why not? Okay. And it seems like my northern vassals are, I think, doing okay. I'm going to go send an army to go defeat this Brazilian army over here, because that's the only big one we have. Nope. Nope, British. You guys don't get help. <laughs> oh my goodness, Canada, you guys are ruined! I, I didn't really, I really shouldn't say I didn't expect anything less, but I really didn't expect anything less from Canada. Okay. Rio de Janeiro has been successfully occupied and now I'm moving on to other bigger venues America needs some help with who who declared war on America who has the guts to declare war on America uh is it Brazil who, de who declared war on you America oh America is dismantle no the Dutch Egyptian no are you calling me into the- are you calling me into this war? You better not be calling me into this war. I mean, you're winning the war. This wouldn't make much sense. War of Aggression. Oh my goodness, you guys call me into this war. No. <laughs> I hate- I, I mean, literally, I'm about to do it myself. We're gonna become buddies. Let me get you 295% liking me. So that when the relationship hits, you guys still love me. No, I'm not getting into this war. We're not going to be buddies. I already said it, America. Also, apparently they're allied with these people over here, which are being ripped apart. And apparently nationalist China has formed, so... Paradoxically, we have a nationalist China and a Beijing China right now alive. Yeah, wrap your head around that one, people. <laughs> okay, I'm sending my 45 degree... My 45 army to go destroy more stuff. Wow. <laughs> And France is basically going to rip apart the uh, Egyptians and everyone else. And Denmark wants Pete's annex Denmark. There we go. There you go, Scandinavia. You have your land back. Good job, Scandinavia. I totally protected you in that endeavor. 
endeavor, even though I didn't do absolutely nothing and I just claim credit, but still, the fascism in the world is quite spreading to the rest of the world and the communists. We have our two big commies and we have our two big fascists. And with that kind of remark, I'm going to want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.